Okay, so it's time for us to talk about angle of parallelism. Uh, this is a big idea. So if D is on ray PA and D and B are on the same side of line PA with the measure of angle APD equal to R naught, then angle APD is the angle of parallelism for P and a line AB. Uh, quick side note here. The angle of parallelism is the same on either side of line PA. So that is to say, in this setup here, when you draw the first line that's parallel to line L going through P, they intersect, they intersect, they intersect, they intersect, they intersect, they no longer intersect. That length, that, sorry, that angle measure is R naught. R naught is the critical number for the intersecting set. Because everything that's less than R sub zero is in the intersecting set, but R sub zero is not. We say that R sub zero is the critical number for the intersecting set. And we say that the angle with that measure is the angle of parallelism for P and AB. And it's the same on either side of PA. So it doesn't matter which side of PA you draw it on, you draw it to have measure R sub zero, the critical number for the intersecting set. Now what's really cool about that is that you will prove in the discussion that the only property that affects R naught is this distance from P to A. As P gets further and further away from A, R naught changes in ways we can describe. The only thing that affects R naught is the length PA, and you will prove that in the discussion. Okay, one more big definition for us to talk about. Kappa of X is the critical number for a point P and a line L, with X being the distance from P to L. As before, Kappa of X is the measure of angle APD where angle APD is the angle of parallelism for P and line AB. Then Kappa whose domain is all positive real numbers, because any of those can be a distance for a, from a point to a line, and whose codomain is the half-closed set, 0 to 90 degrees, is the critical function. In other words, let's go back to this picture. 
at this particular distance, r sub 0 is some number. If we go a little bit further out, r sub 0 is a different number. So imagine plotting a function where we choose a small distance, we figure out the angle of parallelism, and we plot that as a y value. We plot the angle measure for the angle of parallelism. We plot the critical number as a y value. And then we make AP a little bit bigger, figure out the angle of parallelism, plot its measure. We go a little bit further away, so we make the x value bigger. We figure out the angle of parallelism. We plot its measure as a y value. If you do that, you are plotting what we will call the critical function. Now, you will prove in the discussion, you will prove that kappa is non-increasing. You will prove that as you move further away, here's the perpendicular, as you move further away from line L, the angles of parallelism don't get bigger at any, any step along the way. Anytime we move further away from line L, this critical number is at least as big as that is. This critical number is at least as big as that is. The numbers are either getting smaller or they're staying the same. They're not getting bigger as we go away. And that's, that helps us get a feel for what hyperbolic geometry does. This helps us connect the idea of distance with the idea of angle measure, two things that really don't connect in the Euclidean plane. Distances and angle measures are unrelated in the Euclidean plane, but distances and angle measures are hugely connected in the hyperbolic plane. So this is something that you're going to end up proving in the discussion, and I can't wait to see you do it.